everything we take for granted today is crazy. It's all crazy. Technology. You know what cell phones give us? They give us technologically mediated telepathy. Send your thoughts through time and space True. with SMS messages. And if well, we here's, here's stop a piece of technology that, is, yes, because I was yes. listening to your thing about telepathy, and I, I have like a whole thing yes. about that because part of yeah, what that's I'm Amber teaching. Amber Case. Amber Case was to put that term out. She's a cyborg anthropologist. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, is yeah. part yeah. of what I'm teaching in working with some very high level committed groups of people is real telepathy. Do you know what I mean? So that you actually have a collective yeah. group where you can literally get inside of whoever's mind, you know, you start connecting, you start thinking each other's thoughts, et cetera, et cetera. And that yeah. one of the things that Shira Bindo talked about as far as developing like a utopian society was that unless yeah. you had that deep level of connectivity and empathy, it's easy to feel separate and then do something to you that I wouldn't do if I could feel you like I feel myself, Right. So, you know, part of, at least part of what I'm doing is trying to like do that sort of extreme work as far as like the internet, you know, the inner net where you start to actually have those capabilities. Um, You know, there were, there were people that are gifted, you know, that are enlightened that could bilocate. They could all of a sudden just disappear and show up someplace else without an airplane. So, I mean, that's real. But, that's here, but here's the thing. You know how we're, we're, you know, Buckminster Fuller used to say, start with the universe, okay? And you look at Earth right. as a single planetary system. You can't separate yourself from the system in which you are embodied. So right. if we're all part of a global system, we need to stop thinking of these technologies as these separate artificial things. Like you're even saying, oh, real to left empathy versus like the technology for that. But if you look at the earth as a single system, the same biosphere that sprouted flowers and sprouted humans sprouted the microchip and the iPhone. It right. came out of the same biosphere. Right. We are of nature. So anything that comes from us is of nature. The iPhone is no different than the neocortex in terms of being something that nature came up with to provide wait, a function. Wait, I'm, not, I'm not arguing that at all. What I'm saying though yeah, is do, so you, it's like, do you include... You and I, are we... Right. You and I are being telepathic right now. We couldn't have done this interview without this tool. Okay. But this tool is not unnatural. This tool is just nature's cutting yeah, edge. No, so I far. totally agree. That's all. But I'm saying, there's yeah. in, do you know uh, Ken Wilber's work at all? You know, about the different spheres, like, I, you know, yeah. looking at different sure. areas. So the, yeah, the yeah, subjective yeah, yeah. area, the inner part, is as, as, is as real as the upper right quadrant, the lower right, which is uh-huh. the outer uh-huh. expressions, which is part of what you're yeah. the most excited about. It's all yeah. one, but it, there yeah, are distinctions. Sure. And so somebody who's got capacity to not feel like a separate self, you know, a separate yeah. bubble that's using their phone, even right. though it's making right. them connected, is a very different consciousness than somebody yeah. who's literally connected and who yeah. can sense into things yeah. and has a sense of omniscience and is connecting with knowledge right. and stuff. While using their phones too, do you know what I mean? It's not it's right. not separate, sure. but I think the consciousness is also needs oh, to be paid attention to because Open. if you have linear people using that stuff, yes, yes. what is that? You know, I mean, well, that isn't yeah. necessarily well, no, I mean, a, you know, a utopian I think, world. I think, I think, yeah, but I think that, that that's why we have technologies like meditation and we have technologies like yoga 